When I first watched the Bad Batch trailer, I spotted a pretty crazy Easter egg where Lucasfilm and Dave Filoni is reintroducing a character from the Clone Wars. So, just a quick recap, I'm going back all the way to when Ahsoka species, the Togruta, in the Clone Wars were captured by Zagirian slave owners. Obi-Wan and Anakin, as well as a few other characters, attempted to free them, and multiple events happened, but in the end, of course, they got the, f the slaves to safety and freedom. Also, the slave base was destroyed, taking everyone down with it. This includes the Zygarian Prime Minister, Atai. Dooku ordered him to kill Anakin after he killed the Queen, and in the attempt, was killed along with all the other Zygarians. But, after the Bad Batch trailer was released, we revealed that Atai is back from the dead and will probably be the villain in one of the episode plots. So, how we know this is Atai is crazy. Just a little heads up, after editing the video, I realized that this Zygerian in the Bad Batch trailer isn't actually Atai from the Clone Wars, but he is another Zygerian that did survive the explosion and the destruction of the Zygerian slave base. Um, so don't mind any of the times that I reference a tie. I'm speaking of and I'm talking about a Zygerian that is not Thai, but he survived the destruction of the, the Zygerian base. In the Bed Batch sizzle reel, we see for a split second a skinny Zygerian fighting Hunter with no right eye and multiple scars. We can also see the weapon in his hand, which a Zygerian slave owner holds. We see practically every Zygerian with this weapon, including the Queen. So a tie must have been thought to be dead, but turns out he barely survived, and this is the last of the Zygerians. This would make sense that this is a tie because of the scars and no right eye. Since a tie did die, but he somehow survived, the scars would make sense, and this man in the Bad Batch trailer would perfectly meet the description of a tie. He's much skinnier than a tie in the Clone Wars, but that also makes sense after almost dying, and all his people did on that planet with little food no shelter, it would make sense that a tie slimmed down. So there's a small easter egg which could expand into something crazy. So a tie isn't dead, but he has multiple scars and a missing eye. I wouldn't think that he would be much of a big threat or the biggest threat in the show. I'd probably say Order 66 and Palpatine would be the biggest lead up in the show or the threat, the biggest threat. And he would obviously just be the villain of a single episode like he was in the Clone Wars. It would be cool to see Hunter and him fight, and what they might do in the Bad Batch is revisit and introduce several characters that were in the Clone Wars, such as the slave owner Atai. Make sure to subscribe for some crazy Star Wars theories, including on the Bad Batch, possibly The Mandalorian Season 3, Book of Boba Fett, and I'll see you guys in the next video.